Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. He is the senior vice president and general manager of RCA Inspiration, who has molded himself into a music mogul. Yes, he's been on the creative front lines of several successful films and reality shows, including TV One's R&B Divas, which I was a part of, as well as It's a Man's World that was on BET. He joins us now to give us his take on Black Music Month and how black women are faring in the entertainment industry. Please welcome down to the circle. <laughs> <laughs> My good friend Phil Thornton. Yay! Yeah. Down to the circle. Down to the circle. Down to the circle. Hey, mama. You, you made it. Hey. And speaking of mama, I had wanted to give her a special shout out because you know my, your mama's my girl. Yeah. You know, she's been with me through everything. Through, through, through everything, everything. And she watches this show every Look at single mama. day. Oh, look, look at mama. At mama. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. My God. I had to give her a shout out because you know that's my girl. <laughs> she's been she's down excited. to the industry for a while. Yeah. Well, for, for those people who are not in the industry, why don't you give us a little bit about what you do? So I'm the senior vice president, general manager of RCA Inspiration, which is a division of Sony Music yes. Entertainment. So uh -uh. I oversee all the departments, marketing, promotions, a and R, digital, et cetera. So that's oh, what I do okay. every so day. Everything. Every day. And everybody's and job. And yeah. this is Black Music Month. Yes. And so how do you think these current artists are drawing from inspiration from those in the past? You know, the talent level is still continues to just impress me. I mean, obviously we come from a just greatness. When you think about every era of music was derived from people, black people. Mm -hmm. You know, country came from the blues. Mm -hmm. Everything derived from jazz, gospel. So the level of excellence continues to just set the bar. Right. Absolutely. I, and I totally agree. I just spoke on this the other day. Um, speaking of which, you recently penned a powerful op-ed in Billboard magazine yeah. called preserving and growing the legacy of black music. Absolutely. And I want to write, I want to uh, read a quote you wrote. You said, back when all the majors housed a black music department that used to be a breeding ground of sorts, I'd actually like to see a revival of black music divisions at all mm. the majors. What do you think the current <sighs> void in this regard has done to the music that we experience right now? We don't have people, unfortunately, enough people in these buildings that look like us. That understand the music, and that. that understand the culture. Mm. Selena, you were with Jive. Trina, Hello, you were with Atlantic. Mm -hmm. And they both had black music divisions. Yes. And people that understood the music, the culture, how we speak, what really makes us move as a people. So we need more of that. It was a training ground for executives, and that's why we have people like Sylvia Rome, mm -hmm. John Platt. Yeah. So again, the, but they started heading up the black music division. We need to see the return of those. Oof, we need to see a return of a lot of things. Exactly. Yeah. What do you think needs to happen, though? Like, as far as if you were, if somebody said, feel, what can we do? Like, if somebody came to you in the RCA, you know, the, the heads in the mm -hmm. RCA and said, listen, what do we need to do to incorporate more of the black experience into music, at least from our end? What could, what could be the first step? Definitely the executives and empowering our producers and songwriters that actually get it. Because when you think about the fundamentals of a lot of the successful artists in our industry, mm -hmm. from Barry Gordy to uh, Birdman and, and uh, Slim over at Cash Money, mm -hmm. there were people to understand the, the, the business, the nuances, but also the culture and the music, the art of it. So mm -hmm. we need more people to understand the art. The commerce is definitely important, don't get me wrong, mm -hmm. but you need people to understand both. See, mm -hmm. but it's changed so much with this digital age when we have completely gone away from that major yeah, label yeah. support, and it has turned into, not everybody, quite frankly, some buffoonery yeah. on different levels because everybody's a producer. It's a lot of fast Everybody's food. an lot artist. Of fast food. You know, and it's just, it's, it's driving me batty. It just, it really is. And, you know, as an artist who's come up under that yes. umbrella of having that well, label who support. has come up under uh, Tony Brax. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Tony, Hello, somebody. Hey, you know, but, but it's, very it's, you know, it's changed so much. Not to divert. I'm just saying. It's, oh my gosh. It's just. Anyway. Right. But, but we, as, a, <laughs> as African American adults, we need to start embracing the streaming platforms, yes. the Apples, the Spotify's, the Amazons, because we need a voice. Because right now they're catering to the 18 to 24 year olds yes, that true. don't yes. necessarily appreciate the, the greatness that we grew up. Right. Yes. yes. And That's the legacy true. We gotta of it get all. Our, we gotta get yes. our technology together. Get our together. technology up. Yes, and we, and I want to see bad. more artists like yourself owning your masters and having a yes. say. Well, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, my yeah. 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 Hold the line now. Yes. Oh. Wait a minute. Yeah. Come on. Well, but but getting back on you, you know, yes. you've done up edge. You've been on Iyanla Fix My Life, helping yes. out Leandra. Yes. How, now, how was that for you to, to to be that person to kind of fill in that gap for her when she was when she really needed somebody? You know, it was tough, but it was necessary. Mm -hmm. Um, it wasn't easy. She's just reaching out to Ayala. Thank you, Donald Lawrence, because he connected us. Um, but it was needed. She would, she'd hit rock bottom. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and again, and I was encouraged to look the other way. Um, 
but as a company, this was a company side as an individual, as a human being. Yes. I wanted to see her be the best individual, the best mother she can be, the best person. Mm -hmm. And I'm proud to say she's seven months sober. Yeah, that's good for her. She's so talented. Yeah. Leandra, yeah. yes. We do love Leandra. Yeah, Leandra, yeah, sir. Leandra. And I love, Leandra is one of my top five voices of all time. Oh, yeah. Amazing. Amazing. Incredible. Amazing. And speaking of Leandra, you know, we go through a, a lot in the industry as mm -hmm. women. And you yeah. saw us, you saw me go through a lot, as well as some Where of the other ladies. Where did I see that? You Where? saw it down to the R&B Divas. Oh, that show. Uh, that show. Down okay, to the okay, R&B okay. Divas okay. ATL. Yeah. Um, so, with that being said, what do you think, um, how do you think that black women are being portrayed in this industry and what needs to happen for that to change as, as you know as putting on your producer hat what needs to happen one let me take this platform to say thank you for always being the same and consistent thank and you. real thank you because we can't use what you don't give us but sometimes the people on the other side of the camera again you need people that understand the culture and you know i have a i have a mother i have sisters i have you know mm -hmm. black women around me so i have to I'm accountable, yeah, so, I'm not, so I'm right. not going to perpetuate a negative stereotype. So you need more people that understand and want to have some respect, you know, next to their producer credit. It's not just about the check. Exactly. Mm. You know, so yes. you got to make sure that we're keeping the integrity. Integrity. Yes. yes. Yeah. And the, the talent has to keep integrity as well. I'm just going to yeah. say that from the reality standpoint. Ooh. Yeah. But, um, that part. <laughs> you have a new podcast. Yes. Tell us about it. We Sound Crazy. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so myself, Chuck Harmony, Claude Kelly, award-winning writers and producers, and Timon People. Bacon. So every Tuesday, we launch every Tuesday on Apple, Spotify, and we talk about all things music. Ooh, well, that's fun. Yeah, it's fun. I'm and Selena's coming on soon. I am coming on and when Trina. I go down to the oh, winery. Oh, I'll be there. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Down to the Nashville yeah. come on, come on. Winery. Phil, thank you so much. Thank I'm you. so, so glad you. that you were able to come down to the circle. You thank can you. follow all the amazing things Phil is doing on Instagram at Billionaire1911. Billionaire and don't forget to check out his new podcast, We Sound Crazy, on Spotify <laughs> and, and all podcasts.